This edition of Timeline presents the new solar system. The formation of our solar system is situated on the timeline at 4.6 billion years ago. To put this in perspective, the Big Bang occurred 13.8 billion years ago and the dinosaur age began about 230 million years ago. The study and understanding of our solar system has developed and evolved over thousands of years with many historical advancements. The Earth-centered perspective of ancient astronomers eventually gave way to the Sun-centered perspective of the Renaissance. During the Industrial Age, advances in mathematics and science emphasized gravity's crucial role in solar system motions and structure. The Space Age then permitted exploration and detailed studies that led to major revisions to establish learnings. Recent advances have uncovered a whole new class of objects among and beyond our planets, thereby greatly expanding our knowledge of the solar system's objects and changing our viewpoint on how those objects are organized. This shift has developed a new paradigm and modern perspective of the fundamental understanding and structure of our solar system. Until recently, the traditional focus was on the Sun and nine planets with some reference to moons, asteroids, and comets. A new 21st century view organizes the solar system's objects into six groups according to their similar characteristics and properties. Although many diagrams and charts exist, Timeline's modern understanding of the solar system is presented in a simple ringed model that is easy to comprehend and fun to replicate for school projects. Now, Let's explore each ring in this model. Our Sun is a unique object and the only star in the solar system. The Sun has its place at the center with every object in our solar system orbiting around it. The rocky planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, travel along circular orbits. They are medium-sized objects with few moons. The asteroid belt, situated primarily in the region between Mars and Jupiter, consists of small rocks that are on tilted and elliptical orbits. The giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, follow mostly circular orbits and have deep gaseous atmospheres with many moons and rings. The Kuiper Belt, named for astronomer Gerard Kuiper, is a newly observed and explored region beyond Neptune where thousands of small icy objects and large dwarf planets travel in elliptical and tilted orbits. This ring contains many comets that orbit the Sun. Pluto naturally fits in the Kuiper belt alongside other objects that share the same characteristics. The Oort cloud, named for astronomer Jan Oort, is a vast spherical region of trillions of small icy objects that exist in the outermost reaches of the solar system. This cloud of particles is theorized to be the remains of the material that formed the Sun and planets. The outer part of this ring is only loosely bound to our solar system and thus is easily affected by the gravitational pull both of passing stars, nebula, and our own Milky Way galaxy. These forces occasionally dislodge comets from their orbits within the cloud and send them towards the inner solar system or out beyond our solar system into interstellar space. Understanding our solar system is an exciting and continuing journey of discovery. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation and look forward to meeting you again soon along the timeline.